Hey, so you're thinking about moving to Las Vegas here in Nevada and one of the areas you're considering, or maybe the only area you're considering at the moment is Summerlin. Summerlin is a fantastic area. It's the top of the list of a lot of people who are looking to relocate to Las Vegas. It's up there with Henderson. A lot of people compare Summerlin and Henderson and that's the two choices and the options that they choose from when they do move to the area. It's a very prestigious area and there's a reason why it's on the top of most people's lists and I'm going to go through some of those on the, on the pros as well but we're going to go through the pros and the cons in this video so you have a more rounded view of the Summerlin area and hopefully after this video you'll have a little bit more of an idea if it's going to be the right move for you and hey if it's not the right move for you that's not a problem either because we can just work together and find the right area for you and we're going to start right now. So today we're talking about Summerlin. Summerlin is located to the west of the Las Vegas Valley, sort of in the footholds of the Spring Valley mountain range, right over by Red Rock uh, National Conservation Area as well. So you're going to have some amazing mountain views over there. Summerlin is actually the largest master planned community within the whole of the area as well. So that puts it into perspective and you're going to see some of the facts that I give you in a, a bit later about the area, that it is such a huge area. You know, it's almost like a, a city within a city, so to speak. So definitely stick around for this video. Definitely hear the cons and the pros. And hopefully then, as I said at the start, you'll have a bit more of an idea if it's going to work for you and not just caught up in the whole excitement of it being Summerlin, but you'll know straight away, yeah, that's, that's where I want to live. Or no, that's not where I want to live. Let's start again. So we're going to start with the cons and number four on the list of cons, we're going to count backwards. So we're going to have four cons. So number four on the list of cons is going to be just staying in Summerlin. You know, there's going to be so many great things that you can do in Summerlin and I'm going to touch on those in the pro. So I'm not really going to go into them in this point right now, but there's so much to do within your in your community, in your area that you actually might not want to leave the area and explore some of the other amazing things that you can do in Las Vegas, whether that's going to the Strip, going to Mount Charleston, going across to Henderson, or even venturing further out and going to either California one side, Utah upwards, or across to Arizona. So for me, one of the, one of the big cons to begin with is going to be, I call it a Summerlin bubble, and it's very easy to just stay within that Summerlin bubble and not really want to go out because you're going to have all of the entertainment, dining, shopping, parks, splash pads, water park, whatever it is you want to do, Red Rock is there as well, whatever it is you want to do, you're going to have it all on your doorstep in Summerlin. And a lot of people don't really go and see the rest of Vegas when they move to Summerlin. Also, a lot of people who buy homes in the area tend to just stay in the area. So they'll buy a first home in the area and then they'll say, right, I'm, I need to upsize, I need to downsize, but I only want to be within Summerlin. So I call it a Summerlin bubble. I think that can be a con. For some people, that's a pro and you just want to stay in your area and that's it. I get it. I understand it. There's no judgment here. But for some people, you might want to venture out. But when you've got so much great things on your doorstep, sometimes you, you just don't actually get around to doing it, so to speak. So chalk that up as one of the first cons, the Summerlin bubble. Number three on my list of cons is going to be public transportation. You know, it's really hard to get around Summerlin. Las Vegas in general, but more central areas of Vegas are probably a little bit more easier to get around commuting on public transport. Summerlin, it's going to be very difficult to get around if you don't have your own set of wheels or your own means of transport that you can get around. You know, if you're moving to Summerlin and going to be working on the strip and you don't have your own car, it's going to be quite awkward getting back to the strip. The buses don't really venture too far into Summerlin and there's quite a lot of interchanges as well that you have to do. And nobody wants to be waiting around for a bus in the in the middle of summer, whether it's to go to work or to go and meet up with friends or family. It just definitely isn't going to be nice. Now, on the flip side of that, though, if you do have a car, Summerlin is really well located and really easy access to the freeways. Wherever you want to go, wherever you want to go further north, wherever you want to come back down the southwest or you want to go across to the Strip, Henderson, wherever it is you want to go, it's really easy to access from Summerlin if you do have a car. Our freeways are really good as well. They are The way they are um, looped and then coming off that loop as well, it's very easy to navigate. We don't suffer from a lot of congestion as well, apart from around the Strip. So if you're driving around Summerlin or getting to other parts of the Las Vegas Valley, you're not really gonna be stuck in too much congestion apart from 
where there's maybe been a road accident or whether there's maybe been some construction going on. Other than that, you're not going to be too delayed if you are driving. But if you're relying on public transport, you're going to really need to hopefully learn to drive if you don't know already or maybe invest in a cheap car just to get you around to begin with. Because believe me, you do not want the headache of living in Summerlin and relying on public transport. That is for sure. Number two on my list of cons for living in Summerlin is going to be the HOA. Now, as I said at the start, Summerlin is a master planned community. So everybody who lives in Summerlin has to pay a HOA fee and is part of a homeowners association. The minimum is $50 per month. That's for everybody. That's standard across the whole of Summerlin. And then on average, if you look across the board, on average, it's going to be around about 150 to 200 in total per month, just depending on which part of Summerlin you live. You know, it's Summerlin separated into villages. And so where your village is, it's going to be depending on your HOA, if you have a secondary HOA, or if you're in a gated community, or if there's lots of amenities within your community, then your HOA fee is going to go up slightly. Now, if you've watched a few of my videos, you know I have a love-hate relationship with HOAs. I can absolutely see the benefit of HOA. And I know what they, they set out to do, which is to protect the overall property prices within that community. And they do some great things within the community. They keep the community looking really nice and tidy, really clean, really well presented. But at the same time, I think there's some downsides as well to living in that type of community. And sometimes the people who are on the boards can be quite power hungry. They can be quite almost virgin on bullying is how I would sometimes describe my experience with them. They can take little pictures of your trash being out or a car being parked on the street when it shouldn't be or your your bushes being overgrown or your tree not being trimmed whatever it is they sometimes just take a little picture and then they'll stick it in your mailbox with maybe a fine or a citation and for me there's a much more easier way to deal with it they can, can just knock on your door and be like hey sorry mr homeowner this 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 can you please take care of it yes of course not a problem and then no one needs to to get hurt or bothered by it all for me, some of the people on the board take it the other way though, and as I said, it sometimes verges on bullying if you get on the wrong side of them. Um, so definitely if you are buying a home within not just Summerlin, but any HOA community, make sure you read your CCNRs, um, and you'll get that when you are purchasing a home within a homeowner association, and make sure what you can do and can't do, and then at least you'll know from the start what you're walking into for sure. And then the final con for me of living in Summerlin is going to be the, the higher home prices and also the higher cost of living within Summerlin, you know, compared to the rest of the Las Vegas Valley. If we look at last month, for instance, so that's going to be March 2023, the average price of a home that was sold in Summerlin was around about 570000 If you compare that to the rest of Las Vegas, the rest of Las Vegas for the same period was around about 440000 So you can see there's a, a massive jump in terms of the difference of the average price point. Now, obviously, the homes in Summerlin, you're going to have the there's condos, the single family homes, and then there's multi-million dollar mansions. And obviously, if some of those mansions do sell at the million dollar, five million dollar plus, then it does skew those figures. But that's roughly the averages for the last month. But in general, if you're comparing the same home, same square footage in Summerlin compared to another part of Las Vegas, it is going to be more expensive in Summerlin. And again, there are many reasons for that. A lot of people stay in that area. A lot of people want to come to that area. The market within Summerlin is still really strong as well. So because of that, the prices still really haven't dropped. They have come down a little bit over the last couple of years, but we're, we're talking maybe a very little amount really it's not really a, a big amount that it's come down so it's more or less sort of settled at the moment that can change as we all know home prices can go up and go down but again if you're just comparing like for like with vegas and summerlin it is going to be more expensive also renting is going to be more expensive in summerlin and you're going to find higher rental prices whether that's a, a home or a condo in summerlin compared to the rest of the las vegas area Expect to pay anywhere between 500 to maybe eight, 900 plus more per month for the same options within Summerlin compared to the rest of Las Vegas. So definitely take those things into account. But as I said, there's many reasons why the, the prices are like they are. And it is because it is such a desirable area. 
On the flip side, if you are looking to sell your home eventually in Summerlin, you shouldn't have too many issues because it's an area that people want to live in. It's an area of town that people want to be in. But just at the start, just if you want to bear that in mind, if it still works for you, then that's absolutely brilliant. If you're one that's going to be more conscious of the costs and comparing to other parts that maybe you can get a bit more for your money but still have a nice area, then definitely reach out. I'm going to put my details down below there so you can have my phone and my email. Definitely reach out and tell me what it is that you're looking for in an area, in a home, and I can absolutely pinpoint the exact area that you should be living in and then we can go and tour that area or I can set you up on a list of addresses to go and tour in that area and you can go and have a look and see if it works for you but uh, I'm confident I can get you in the right area for you so definitely do reach out there on the screen to my details. So that's the cons, that's the, the less attractive parts of Summerlin and being honest it is really hard to find too many cons of living in Summerlin. It was one of the areas I also considered living in. We just settled on Henderson for some of the other reasons. Um, but I think you can't go wrong really with Summerlin. I, you know, I had to really nitpick, to be honest, of things that I thought would be a con of living in Summerlin. But we're gonna go on to the pros now. And for me, number five on my list of pros is gonna be the elevation. Summerlin is located about 3,500 feet above uh, sea level, whereas you know if you compare where the strip is, that's around about 2,000. So there's a, a 1,500 square, uh, 1,500 foot, sorry, difference um, in height and elevation. And with that, you're going to probably have a temperature that's around about five degrees cooler. Now you might say, Peter, five degrees? That's nothing. Believe me, five degrees when it goes from from 100 to 95 or from 95 to 90, you do feel it. And there's a bit more of a breeze around Summerlin as well. It gets quite windy sometimes. In Vegas, you get a lot of wind anyway because we're in a valley. But Summerlin also gets quite a lot of wind because of that. And also with that elevation, you get some cracking views as well. Whether that's if you've got city views looking back down towards the Strip and the downtown Las Vegas area or the whole of Summerlin. Or also some of the mountain views as well. You know, With that elevation, you get some really great views. So I think that's definitely a pro, the views. The elevation being a little bit higher, meaning that your temperatures are a little bit cooler, a little bit more manageable as well. And all that in all, I think, will definitely go on my list of pros. Number four on my list of pros, and this goes for the whole of Las Vegas and Henderson, but it's going to go for Summerlin as well. It's a big reason why people look at moving to the area, and that's there's no state income tax. Zilch, zero, niada, state income tax. That's a great thing for me. You know, we have a lot of people that get in touch and they are moving from parts of the country like California and New York and Oregon where there is a high state income tax and it means that you can effectively move, especially with the, the influx of remote working now as well. You can move to a great area like Summerlin, which is really prestigious. There's a lot of luxury homes within there. You can move there, have a great quality of life and still save money by not having to pay a state income tax every Two, two weeks or four weeks, whatever it is you get paid out of your salary. So it's tax time this time of year. And when I was filing my taxes, I could just skip straight past the, the state taxes as we had no uh, taxes to pay, state income taxes, which is fantastic. Obviously, you know, some of the higher ones, California goes up to about 13%. New York goes up to around about 11, around 11 10%. Oregon, again, is another high one. I think it's around 9% in the top bracket. So st those figures add up over the year of working, whether that's salary, self-employed, whatever it is you're, you're working. Those, those, that extra tax adds up. And that tax can be put into, that tax that you're not paying can be put into something that you want to enjoy yourself with your own money. So that's what brings a lot of people to the area to begin with. And then they obviously look at Summerlin as being one of the the more popular, more well-known, more prestigious parts of the Las Vegas Valley. So definitely for me, a big pro of living in Summerlin and the whole of Las Vegas is going to be no state income tax. Number three on my list of pros is going to be the shopping and dining options within Summerlin. There's so much within Summerlin to enjoy if you're into shopping and dining. You know, you're going to have the downtown Summerlin area and downtown Summerlin is the only downtown area apart from downtown Las Vegas, which is fantastic in itself. Within downtown Summerlin, it's an outdoor shopping and dining center and there's going to be so many great stores. You know, there's too many to just reel off off the top of my head, but it's just so great to go and check it out. There's so many great stores, as I said, to enjoy, so many great restaurants. 
They put on so many great events there as well, whether that's parades seasonally or things for the kids to enjoy. So definitely that in itself is really good. But also at downtown Summerlin, there's going to be the Las Vegas ballpark, which again is great to go and catch a game, have a great day out. I've been a couple of times and obviously being from the UK, I'm not really big into baseball. We don't really have it over in the UK, but actually there's so much that goes on around the stadium that I wasn't really paying too much attention to the game. The kids were having great fun as well. So definitely go and check out downtown Summerlin. And whilst you're there, go and check out the Las Vegas ballpark as well because it is great fun. Definitely if you have a favorite in downtown Summerlin, pop that down below, whether that's a restaurant or a store and uh, help someone else maybe check out something new there as well. But I think the whole downtown Summerlin area is great. It's humongous. It's great to go and have a walk around when it's not too hot or the sun's not too strong outside as well. And you know, you feel you're just in a really nice place when you're going through downtown Summerlin. Also, there's Tivoli Village as well, which is home to some more of the luxury brands and uh, some little boutiques as well. Again, if you're looking for some unique pieces maybe, or you are looking for a luxury item whilst you're here, definitely go and check out Tivoli Village as well. And then there's also Bucker Park as well, which again has some really cool stores to enjoy, some really cool restaurants, some nice little fast food options as well there to grab and go. So definitely go and check out all of those. But you know, as I said, you know, Summerlin is not a city, it's a master planned community. So to have those three big options for shopping and dining, as well as some of the other little options as well within the little villages, then definitely for me, that has to be on the pro because I don't think there's anywhere really like that within the rest of Vegas. Yes, we have shopping malls. We have Henderson that has lots of shopping things and dining options. But Summerlin's not a city. Summerlin's a master planned community. And I think sometimes that get, get, gets a bit lost. I was talking to a friend who lives in North Las Vegas and she was telling me, you know, I love North Las Vegas, but there's just not too much to do. We have to keep coming down to Henderson or to the central Vegas area. And it's not far, maybe 20 minutes drive, but they would like to have something like Summerlin does. It would be better to have on their doorstep. So for me, it has, has to absolutely go as a pro. Number two on my list of pros is going to be the things to do outdoors within Summerlin. As I sort of touched on at the start, the area is made up of loads of little villages and those villages all have their own parks and playgrounds, splash pads that some of them have. And in total, in the whole of the Summerlin area, there's over 250 parks, which is incredible. If you compare that to Henderson and Henderson being a city and Summerlin being a master planned community, Henderson only has around 60 parks. So 60 parks compared to Summerlin's 250, that's a lot of green spaces to go and enjoy. And as I said, those parks have different playgrounds, splash pads, there's dog parks, there's uh, outdoor gym apparatus, there's swimming pools and the community centers in there, there's skate parks and basketball courts, there's baseball parks, there's football grounds as well. So there's so many different sports to go and enjoy. And I know, I know I've missed loads of them off as well. I'm just trying to do it from the ones that I can remember seeing off the top of my head. But there's so many more things to go and enjoy. Also, you're going to be right at the doorstep of Red Rock National Conservation Area. So you can go and check out Red Rock. If you like hiking, there's some amazing hikes. If you're not a fan of hiking, you can just go on the little, I think it's a two mile, three mile loop. And it's got some very, you can drive and there's some various little stop off points as well where you can get some great shots for the Instagram or Facebook. And it will look fantastic. Some amazing colors that you get in those shots as well. And some amazing views in, in total. If we're going just ourselves, we tend to go for a little hike when it's a bit cooler temperatures. If we're going with the kids though, we just do the loop and we all stop off and get some shots as well. So definitely you're going to have a lot to do outdoors within Summerlin. And then obviously the rest of Las Vegas, there's so much to do outdoors as well. And you know, with the great weather that we have, the 300 days plus of sunshine, average temperatures of around 80 degrees per year. With all of that, there's going to be so much more to enjoy if you want to get out of Summerlin and enjoy, use Summerlin as your base because that's where you live, but still get out and enjoy other things. There's Lake Mead, Lake Las Vegas, Mount Charleston. There's the National Bird Viewing Preserve down in Henderson. There's, you know, two water parks. You've got one actually close to Summerlin, sort of on the border of Spring Valley Summerlin, and that's going to be Carabunga Canyon. And then over in Henderson, there's Carabunga Bay. So two great water parks as well to enjoy outdoors. So... Definitely, if you want to be outdoors and enjoying everything that the, the weather allows you to move to, to, to enjoy when you move here, as I know a lot of people move here for that reason, to enjoy the weather, 
Living in Summerlin, you're gonna have a lot to do outdoors, trust me. And then, the final pro for me of living in Summerlin is the schools. Now I know, and I've seen the comments as well from some people, the schools in the Las Vegas area do get bashed quite a lot. And the CCSD, the Clark County School District, which covers all of the schools within Clark County, so that's Las Vegas, Henderson, Boulder City, and a couple of other little places a bit further north, they'll come under the CCSD bracket. And the CCSD is constantly ranked, constantly ranked as one of the worst within the country. I think it got 49 out of 50, which as a parent, when I read that before I moved here, it was shocking. I, I didn't know what I was letting my kids walk into. Then I started to do my own research and I started to look at websites like niche.com, greatschools.org. I started to do a deep dive on the Clark County School District website as well and started looking at actual individual schools and not the whole district as a whole. And I started to see some patterns of where the good schools were and where the schools that weren't so good were. And obviously the schools that are not so good are going to bring the ratings down. And, you know, some of those ratings as well, when you actually do a deeper dive on them, you'll actually understand that actually it's not as bad as it seems. Uh, the school that we actually put our kids in for elementary had a really high amount of bullying cases. And then when we actually look deeper into it, it's because they actually report the bullying and they deal with the bullying and it's stopped rather than not reporting it. It doesn't go down as one of their figures and then it just allowed to continue like some of the other schools do. So, you know, I felt safe and I, I can see a lot of the safeguarding they do within the school around bullying. Even though that the school for bullying, you know, was, was looking bad, if you look at it as a statistic, when you actually do a deeper dive onto it, it actually was a positive and not actually a, a negative against the school. And then one of the other things I noticed that the majority of the, the higher rated schools were going to be either in Summerlin or in Henderson. So living in Summerlin, you're going to have access to some of the best public schools, if that's the route you want to go. Some of the best elementary, uh, middle and high school are all going to be within Summerlin. I'll try and stick up a screenshot just so you can see some of the names of some of the schools that are going to be within the area to look out for as well. Just to make sure if that's where you want to go, that you're going to be within the zoning for them as well. And then there's some amazing private and charter schools for you that are located all across the Las Vegas Valley, but quite a few of them are within Summerlin as well. And I'll again, I'll try and get the screenshot up to show you those ones as well, just so you can see the names of them, so you can do a bit more research. You know, if schooling is absolutely important to you, and as a parent, I think it's one of the key things really that we look at as parents. You know, I can only speak from my own experience, but it was one of the first things I looked at. I wasn't looking at where the parks were or what the job opportunities were or anything else cost of living I didn't consider any of that until I looked at schools and looked at schooling for the kids and I know a lot of you are the same schooling is super important to you and if it is going to be super important to you and you know I haven't gone into enough information here for you again I'm going to put my details on the screen do get in touch and we can go in this in more detail offline and we can really figure it out for you and your family and we can you know, if we do a Zoom call, I can share my screen and show you the things that I did when I was looking at schools and how I came to the, the solutions that I came to for my family and my kids. Five kids, you know, that I have. So schooling is, is definitely important for, for my family. So, you know, if you want a bit more guidance on that, then definitely do reach out on my details below because I would love to help you. I would hate anyone to pass up an opportunity to get in touch and help them with finding a good school for, for their family. So definitely do reach out. But, you know, as I said, the main websites I checked were niche.com, greatschools.org, and then the Clark County School District website itself. And everything led me to seeing that the majority of the good schools were located in certain areas. And Summerlin is one of those areas where the majority of good schools are. So schooling is important and Summerlin's on your list. I think you're on the right track. If you need a bit more guidance, though, please do reach out. And that's it guys, that's some quick pros and cons for me of living in Summerlin. I love Summerlin, I love showing homes in Summerlin, I, I love going to the area, it's one of my favourite areas to go to, there's so much to do within the area that it's never really a, a bad time to go, so for me I think it's a great option, I think if you're choosing between Summerlin and Henderson you can't go wrong with either option, if you're choosing between Summerlin and maybe a different part of town, they're going to give you different experiences, so you need to figure out what is right for you. If there's something that I've missed off the list, whether that's a pro or a con, and you have lived in Summerlin before, or you live in Summerlin now, 
pop that down in the comments below as well and you're not just going to help me you're going to help those that are watching this video as well i also want to say thank you to everyone who is watching these videos again you know the feedback the the amount of views that i'm getting is blowing my mind i never thought it would happen when i started putting out these videos who, who was going to want to listen to an english boy who relocated over to vegas but you know the support has been amazing and as with everything i only talk from my experience so there's no right or wrong i'm just sharing my experience and the things that i've learned and hopefully helping you along the way as well and if it has helped you then definitely let me know because it's always great to hear that i've helped you even if you haven't used me as a realtor it's still always nice to know that my videos have helped you along the way while you're at it, please go ahead, if you haven't already, to tap on the bell for notifications and also remember to subscribe to the video. Also, like the video, that way you're going to help the video be put in front of other people who are looking at relocating to the area and that way it'll help them on their journey of research and finding things out. Just as a reminder, if you are thinking about moving to the Las Vegas or Henderson area, please, please, please get in touch. I really would love to help you, no matter where you are on that journey i would love to help you out and love to be part of your journey to relocate into las vegas and i'll do everything i can within my power to make it as easy and stress-free and enjoyable as possible i i know a lot of you who have reached out already and we've already either we've already closed on your homes or we're going through the process i'm sure a lot of you guys that have worked with me already can testify to how i am in person and i'm exactly the same as i am on camera so if that's something that resonates with you then definitely get in touch but until the next time, guys, thank you so much for watching and you take care.